In this amazing geometry question, we have been given a square whose this vertex is also the center of this semicircle. The area of this square is nine square units. Then we also have this line, and our job is to find the length of this line. So, can you solve it? Now, as a first step, let us label the side of this square as S. Thus, the area of this square will be S square, which is equal to 9. Hence, the value of S will be root 9 or 3 units. So all of them will be 3 units as well. Next, we will construct the radius of this semicircle and label it as R. As this is a square, so this will be a right angle, and hence this will be a right triangle. So we will use Pythagoras' theorem to find the radius. We get R square equals 3 square plus 3 square, or 9 plus 9, or 18. So, R equals root 18, or 3 root 2. So far, so good. Now, consider this line. Since this is the right angle, therefore, this will also be 90 degrees, and thus it will also be a right triangle. This is 3, and this is the same as the radius of this semicircle, or 3 root 2. So we will again use Pythagoras' theorem to find the hypotenuse. Let us label it as h, so h square equals 3 square plus 3 root 2, whole square or 9 plus 18, or 27. So h equals root 27, or 3 root 3. Great! Now, here comes the magic. Let us complete this semicircle. Then draw this radius, and also complete this remaining part of the diameter. Now we can use the chord-chord power theorem, which states that if two chords cross each other inside a circle, the product of the lengths of the two parts of one chord is equal to the product of the lengths of the two parts of the other chord. Now this is the radius of this circle, or 3 root 2. Then this is 3, so this will be 3 root 2 plus 3. Also this part of the chord will be 3 root 2 minus 3. Now consider these two chords of our circle, and let us label this part as y. We will use this chord-chord power theorem to solve for y. We get 3 root 3 times y equals 3 root 2, plus 3 times 3 root 2 minus 3. This is of the form a plus b times a minus b, and thus it will be the same as 3 root 2 whole square minus 3 square or 18 minus 9 or 9. So, y equals 9 over 3 root 3, which will be the same as 3 over root 3, or root 3. Nice! So the value of x will be 3 root 3 plus root 3 or 4 root 3 units, and that's it. Isn't this an awesome question which teaches us a lot of concepts? So, if you were able to follow the method, then I have a challenge for you. Let us generalize this question. If the area of this square is s square, then find the value of x in terms of s and comment your answer below. Also, if you like it, please don't forget to share this video with your friends and support this channel by joining our community and becoming a member. So good!